Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to focus on using trig ratios to find missing sides of right triangles. In this example, we're given a triangle with a 35 degree angle. We know the bottom side is going to be 15. We're going to try to find this vertical straight up and down side. The very first thing we need to decide is which of our trig ratios we're going to use. So we're going to look at this SOHCAHTOA acronym to help us out. If we're focusing on the 35 degree angle, the X is the opposite side and the 15 is the adjacent side. So if we check out our acronym, the tangent uses the opposite and the adjacent. So we need to set up a tangent equation. So I'm going tangent of the angle we're looking at, the 35 degree angle, equals the opposite side, which is X, over the adjacent side, which is the 15. Now what we need to start doing is solving to get X all by itself. Right now, x is being divided by 15, so if we think inverse operations from algebra, in order to get rid of divided by 15, we have to multiply both sides by 15. Now we've got x all by itself on the right-hand side of that equation. On the left-hand side, we've got 15 times the tangent of 35. We're going to need our calculators for this part. If I do the tangent of 35 degrees in my calculator, I got 0 .7002, so now we need to take that times our 15 that we had before. And I'm going to round to just one decimal place. When we do that, we get about 10 and a half. Okay, here's our next example. We've got a 40 degree angle this time. We're given x as the side across the bottom, and 19 is going to be the hypotenuse since that's across from the 90 degree angle. Just like on the last one, the very first thing we need to figure out is which of our trig ratios are we using. So if we're looking at the 40 degree angle, the x is the opposite side, and we already said 19 was the hypotenuse, so we're going to use our sine fraction to help us out because sine uses opposite and hypotenuse. So we do the sine of the angle we're looking at, the 40 degree angle, equals the opposite side x over the hypotenuse 19, and then we need to start solving. On this one, we're taking x divided by 19, so in order to get rid of division, we have to multiply both sides by 19. Now on the left-hand side, we're going to need our calculator to do the sine of 40 degrees. When I type that into my calculator, I got 0.6428. Then we still have to multiply by that 19 that's out in front. And if we round that to one decimal, I got 12.2 as my x value. In our next example, we've got a 20 degree angle. Our x is the side across the bottom. 14 is going to be the hypotenuse. So again, we need to figure out which trig ratio we're going to set up. The x is adjacent to the 20 degree angle, and the 14 is the hypotenuse. Cosine uses adjacent and hypotenuse, so we need to set up a cosine equation. So we're taking the cosine of our 20 degree angle equals the adjacent side x over the hypotenuse 14. And now we need to work on getting x all by itself. Right now we're dividing x by 14, so in order to get rid of division, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 14. In my calculator, if I do the cosine of 20 degrees, I got 0.9397, but we still have to multiply by the 14 that's out in front. And when I type all of that into my calculator, I got about 13.2 as our x value. In our next example, we've got a 30 degree angle. Our vertical side is going to be our x that we're trying to find, and we've got 15 going across the bottom. Again, we need to figure out which trig ratio to set up. So the x is adjacent to the 30. 15 is the opposite side. We're going to use a tangent because tangent has opposite and adjacent in it. So we have to do the tangent of our 30 degree angle equals the opposite side 15 over the adjacent side x. Now this one's going to be a little bit different than the other examples that we've done. In order to start solving this one, we have to multiply both sides by x, because right now we're dividing by x. So we multiply both sides by x, but x still isn't all by itself. Now our equation says x times the tangent of 30 equals 15. There's still another step that needs to be taken in order to get x all by itself. And right now we're doing a little bit of multiplying, so in order to get x all by itself, we have to divide both sides by the tangent of 30. 
Now on the right hand side, I'm going to do the tangent of 30 in my calculator. So we get 15 divided by 0.5774. And if we round this to one decimal, we end up getting 26.0. In this example, we've got a 33 degree angle down at the bottom right hand corner. 17 is the horizontal side and x is our hypotenuse. Again, we need to figure out what trig ratio to use. Since we've got the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, we're going to use a cosine equation to help us out. So we do the cosine of our angle equals the adjacent side 17 over the hypotenuse x. Again, we're dividing by x on this one, so we're going to have to multiply both sides by x to work on solving this. Now x is still not all by itself. We've got x times the cosine of 33 equals 17, so there's one more step that needs to be taken. In order to get rid of this multiplication, we'll have to divide both sides by the cosine of 33. I'm going to type the cosine of 33 degrees into my calculator. So I got 0.8387. Now I need to take 17 divided by that decimal. And when we do that, we get about 20.3 as our answer for x. In our last example, we're given a 47 degree angle. 8 is our vertical side and x is going to be our hypotenuse. So if we're looking at what trig ratio to set up, we've got the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So this one is going to be a sine equation. So we go sine of our 47 degree angle equals the opposite side 8 over the hypotenuse x. Now we need to get that x over to the other side by multiplying. So we get x times the sine of 47 equals 8. In order to get rid of that multiplication with the sine of 47, we'll have to divide both sides by that sine of 47. Now we'll need to take the sine of 47 and type it into our calculator. So I got about 0.7314, and now if we do 8 divided by that decimal, we should get about 10.9 as our answer. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.